Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Airships Conquer the Skies. Today's beverage is a very nice chilled glass of pink grapefruit juice. Very nice indeed. So welcome back to the game. In the previous episode we were taking over some territory and I don't think we can take this over in time. That's a shame. Yeah, we were taking over some territory and specifically I was trying to take out uh, Corona here as well as take some of the bits and then finally go to Tuppington. All of the couple of bits that I mentioned earlier have worked out, but Tuppington, it looks like, is going to be sledged by this guy, by Dine, which means, yeah, we will not be able to take that unless they are defeated, which they are not, which means I'm going to have to turn around, and uh, that's a bit of a shame. Did try, it did fail, and they're doing a gentle takeover. We can view that there. I can, however, start to build up a supply network which is... Oh, it's brought attention to the spy. That's not ideal. Yeah, we can start to build up a supply, uh, a spy network and perhaps even uh, do some attacking. <laughs> uh, by uh, basically uh, doing some unrest. Anyway, a diplomatic delegation from Sovereign. We'll accept that. Of course we will. Sovereign over there on the right-hand side. That's a craven. Easily frightened and bullied. Let's make an offer. How about alliance? Oh, they really don't want to be in alliance with me. Okay, that's fair enough. Uh, Catwick, uh, what about you? You are not bothered about an alliance either. You're paranoid as well. So I'll have to yeah, deal with that. Let me just go ahead and go for our defenses. We don't need to rename this or move it or anything like that. But anything that may have been damaged, we will need to repair. I don't think it will be damaged. So... Um, a diplomat offer from Uncton. They want me to. They want to cancel the alliance and cede that. Why would I accept that? No, let's just not do that. Um, so where do we go from here? We are currently technically at war with Stinex. Um, so I could probably maybe do with taking that over. There's our research complete with metallurgy. We are researching telescopes, which is great. And yeah, if we can. If we can take this over, this will be brilliant. We should have enough to board it and take this. We can build a spy network, which I will not do, I think. Uh, instead, I will try to build... There's a small shipyard there. That's a small local shipyard. It's three maintenance cost, 100 production, can build land ships and airships. I think I want to build... There's a large shipyard, right, and a port. Let's build the ooh, factories as well. Engines of industry, plus 66 production, and 10 income. Uh, yeah, let's get a factory. And probably a port, if I'm honest, we're probably going to build another port. In Generican, I'm going to build a ship, and naturally it's going to be... Oh, we've got an owl, got a partridges, got a woodpecker, definitely not. No, it's going to be a sparrowhawk, just as a quick reaction vessel, just in case something untowards happened. And what I mean by that is if someone starts to be very silly and wants to start attacking. From this guy, we can see that they are... Oh, Age of Plenty. So it's moved over naturally. So Age of Plenty, uh, it's Bountiful Harvests, plus 15% income, double fleet resupply speed, 20 base research, three spies available, four in rest per city, one in rest per town. Brilliant, Age of Plenty. So Rodino here is currently at war with a lot of... a lot of these guys interesting anyway we've docked up i need enough to get over here i'm also seeing catwick oh, had some territory it's just changed also some gargoyles there as well hmm defend their nest with acid spit could we take them on we've got two supply ships one two three four wasps Compact list. Yeah. A marksman and a sparrowhawk. So, all boarding stuff, really. Nothing to attack with. Don't really want a partridge. Also, let's view this city here. So, this is... They've not really done much. Yeah, spy's been active there for a while. Let's uh, send a delegation, actually. Keep that alliance going. I mean, I guess they just can't attack anywhere because of where they are. I do maybe want to try and take out some gargoyles. Can't remember the last time we've seen some gargoyles. 
There's some frost worms there. Beautiful hide, dangerous frost worms, is much prized. Minus five on arrest in each city. Dine, cooperative. Wonder what we can do. Make offer. Oh, they're close to an alliance. An alliance would be beneficial. What if we make an offer? No, what if we demand? Make an ultimatum. Alliance or it's war. Chance will accept 100%. Make an ultimatum then. So they should accept. I should really check to see who they are at war with. Uh, <laughs> nobody. Okay, fine. Apart from the guy that we're probably going to attack. Brilliant. <laughs> so, um, they have a limited time to respond. I can abandon the ultimatum, which will reduce our reputation. They, it said 100% chance to accept, so they should accept. If they don't, we then have to enforce that ultimatum, or basically it's going to fail. Yeah. Um... I'm selecting all of the stuff that we have in an alliance. There we go. We're in an alliance. So let's check our diplomatic stuff. Yeah, there we go. So this is us in blue. Alliance is in green. Brilliant. I'd rather work with them. I've had a lot of questions regarding how we're playing and such. Um, cards on table. I'm just, as much as I can, playing the diplomacy stuff. The new... Uh, the new stuff for dealing with different empires. When we do inevitable follow-up series, of course we're going to pick at the start how we're going to roleplay this. Are we the good guy? Are we the bad guy? Do we start with cultists, which we can do? Are we going to be very aggressive? We're going to be very passive, turtle up? That sort of thing. Um, very much looking forward to that. Um, we do have the ability to build factories here. And do I want another spy agency? I think it would be nice to have a spy agency. We'll build one of those. And indeed, we'll go for a, f oh, a large shipyard, which will extra production. Factories, extra production, but extra income as well. I know we're spending a lot of money, but our fleet is such that we don't need to tool up too much because we're similar strength with, realistically, the guy that's going to attack us. And I haven't really dealt with this guy much actually this is a craven easily frightened and bullied says them who's attacking the guy that is also paranoid yes indeed but yeah i'm not um break treaty with this bully i see i don't know what ah does it not tell me actually it says 40% less technology needed because of Sovereign and... Oh yes, Sovereign and Rod already have this technology, so it does tell us. Okay. If I break it though, I will lose rep and they will get grievances. So I can make an offer then, which is to... Cancel a research treaty, cancel trade treaty. Or I could make an ultimatum. I want to cancel the research treaty and the trade treaty and we'll go to war if they don't do that. <laughs> Maybe, I mean, it would possibly work. I'm, I'm going to deal with this first. I really don't want to deal. I really want to deal with this first. Uh, ooh, paintings and frost worms. Yes, thank you, Uncton. Insufficient supply to return. If we're to go here. I, with what we have. Still not totally convinced we can win it. Let's get that guy over there first. And then we'll go over. Insufficient supply to return. I'm risking it. There's new research. We have rockets, but not combustibles. Turrets. Heavy cannon bombards. Fleet speed would be good. 
Oh, someone's got armor piercing sh uh, armor piercing rounds. How cool! Air grenadiers, bombers, aircraft main spears, double bomb accuracy. Flat cannon. <laughs> of all the things. Let's build a ship. I think we're going to put together... A herring gull. When we've got the money. We're being very capture In this game. And indeed in previous series we've done a lot of capturing. But build ship, herring gull. I think that was one of the first vessels that we made when we uh, came back to the game. Anyway, so we have a bit of a fight on our hands. The plan is to board both of these structures at the back with our sparrowhawks. This thing, with two spawns on, which looks two spawns, it looks like a landing craft. That's really nice. That thing, we will board with this, and this one will shoot with a lot of rockets. Start the fight, immediately pause it. This first one, we're going to move to there. This second one, we're going to move to there. This one, we're going to move underneath. That one can just go down to there. Let's see how we get on. <laughs> so the rockets getting fired from there is mostly hitting our own vessel. Because of course it is. These are going to move back over. There's the aerial charges. Whoa! This thing's really quick, isn't it? And I don't know what this is all about, but it's it's got some speed. It has got some speed on it. <laughs> Interesting. Um, the Sparrowhawks are here already. Right, board that one. You, come down, flip. Oh, they've got aerial charges as well. That's bad. And I don't think I'm close enough. Get down, 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 down. Go, 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 go. Boarding underway. Second one. Boarding underway. Why are the rockets coming over here? <laughs> Good grief. These, move. Just flip. Flip. Like that. This one, I'm going to come up and round. Let's see how we're doing over on the right. But a carnage has been perpetrated. I'm fairly confident we'll take one of them, which we have. We've taken this back one. Oh, the ship's split in half, but it's done its job. It's captured what we needed to capture. This thing's going over the top of us, and oh, we may even get a board on here. Board that one. Looks like the mini tank's gone. I'm boarding... Nothing. <laughs> anymore. It's falling out of the sky. So you know what? I might as well get all their troops over here. Get their troops there. I don't think I'm going to take this bigger one. No. Haven't managed to capture the big vessel. And this is out of... Well out of the fight basically so we'll use it as a ramp oh yeah that's that's oh that's that's dead yeah that's a dead vessel uh board that one this one it's almost out of weapons are we gonna be able to board one guy did hmm board that one leave it that might have been a mistake, that, to tell the board. But they're leaving this to capture that one. I'm just going to pause it. Just quickly whiz over to here. Move. Flip. Get close. Go, go, go. This one, no longer in command. We're boarding this big one, though. There's the rockets coming in. Probably not a great idea, actually. Look at all that. I've got these aerial charges at the top here. Didn't realise when I was uh, moving around. Oh, we've captured it. We've got it. We've got it. 
Once again, though, at what cost? Lots of stuff has been destroyed. Gentle takeover is 2 months, 14 days. I'm going to do a gentle takeover. I don't see any big reason not to. Oh, looks like the bully. Are they at war with... Yeah. They're at war with Catwick. Hmm. So we'll do a gentle takeover. I don't even know what that fleet consists of. But General Takeover is not going to take too long, and we'll repair a lot of this stuff. Sadly, Sparrowhawks are gone. I really like those things. So, repair. That's refit. Repair that. Uh, I don't think anything else needs needs a repair. No, no. But I will at this shipyard build a replacement Sparrowhawk just to come in. And we've now got the herring goal. So let's have a quick look then. That guy is at war with them. Sovereign. Let's have a chat with you, man. Let's have a chat with you. Make offer. Do you want to be part of an alliance? They really don't. Why is this? <clears throat> Are they in an alliance themselves? Proposed alliance. Minus... 35% baseline, plus 7 similar strength, plus 17 reputation, minus 50 other alliances. So they are in alliance with who? No one. Non-aggression. I'm not too sure then. We're not too sure. We're in alliance. If we got a war with this guy... It's going to be interesting, isn't it? I'm fairly confident we can win it now. Send a spy over there. Research treaty with Catwick. I'll accept. Didn't like off of um, this guy. Trade treaty. Hmm. Sure. So he's moving off. Do we have the power to take out this guy? I don't know what's in that fleet. But I'm fairly confident a Sparrowhawk can deal with it. <laughs> Actually, I don't know because I have no idea what's in that fleet. That's the problem. It's going over here. Hmm. Okay. Once again, he's done nothing. Steel fun, steel supplies, steel research. <laughs> Information for gyro scroll. <laughs> okay, right. Steel research. I'm piecing rounds. <laughs> right. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, I still want to do. I still want to do a uh, <laughs> a campaign with capturing technology now. Just being all stealthy and everything. Cool. So we do have some unrest here, 19. I'm not really too worried about that. We have to rebuild the defences, though, because, well, they're absolutely knackered, aren't they? That should be fine now. And I really want to take this guy out. I want to intercept that. What's he got here? Realistically, he's got three tanks and his defences in this... Really interesting terrain, actually. So what's in that fleet? Is the question. What is in that fleet? Stenex has no defensive buildings. Yeah, we are building them. That's why, though. I mean, I can easily intercept it. Very easily. But it means going to war, and I don't know what they've got. Don't know where he's going. Oh, hang on. Oh, they're going to attack the gargoyles. Right. Got you. There's the flat cannon researched. Let's go for gyroscopes. They're turrets. Yeah, gyroscopes for turrets, yeah. There's a peace with them, but war with him now. He's taking his... Ah, oh, 
Has he taken that back? Or was that part of a trade thing? It's possible. Gonna move our fleet over now. Which is quite a large fleet. <laughs> and he's attacking there, is he? Two weeks. Two weeks, four days. One week, four days. So he's gonna get there first. Ooh, there's opium there. Best speed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. Let's um, wait a little bit more. We're gonna build another bomber. Oh, he's turned around, has he? I don't think I'm ever going to find out what's in that fleet. I don't think I care. I think this guy... Well... They've never... We've never had many dealings with them apart from that one bit where they took advantage. So, this guy wants to be in a defensive pact. Trade treaty. But I demonstrate submission. Losing six at rotation and them gaining three. No. Make offer. Alliance. They won't have it. Full alliance there. Between everybody. No. Make ultimatum. Alliance. A war! Nah, they're not too bothered about that, to be honest. Alright. Build a port here. No. Stick to the plan. Building. Herring goal. Just shy of the money. Research treaty with them. No thanks. Build ship. Herring goal. Accept. And. That's heading back. They're building a marksman, are they? There it is. Sabotage production. No. None of that. Hmm. <clears throat> so. If I declare war... We'd have to break some treaties. That's for sure. I'm going to say... Make offer. Cancel trade and research treaties. Mm. Demonstrate submission. Losing six reputation. If we can lose six. What's their opinion anyway? Similar strength here. Yeah, that's the worrying part. I'm just worried about the reputation loss. Um... And they've got grievances. Grievances with the other empire. The other empire can then use those grievances to avoid reputation loss when breaking treaties. Because it's justified. Oh, let's go. Let's go to war. So the only dealings is when they were basically jumped. Not jumped on us, but certainly took advantage during our hour of misfortune. So we moved over to here. It's going to be a very easy fight. I'm just going to capture. Start the fight. We did it. I think they've given up. Yeah, the day's ours. They've just straight up given up. Can we please... Right, game end please before the missiles hit. There we go. <laughs> Gentle takeover. And they've turned back around. Um, sufficient supply to get to Light Jar. This guy's moving in now. Ah, we'll see if they take that, and then we'll come and deal with it. Can he, can he intercept that? No, we wouldn't be able to intercept it. I'll tell you what I will do, though, because I can. Deselect all, and select Sparrowhawk. Intercept. Oh. Hang on. 
Sparrowhawk. You need 700. That's interesting. 700. Why? Enough for a safe return. I'm just going to have to wait a bit. I guess I could select the ships as well. If I select the transport ship. Enough for safe return. So I'm intercepting them. Um, so I'm intercepting this fleet before they get to here. But obviously I don't know what they've got. I don't want to see... No, I don't want to see anything. Oh! Interestingly, these guys are coming to their defence. Yai... Dine requests you send a fleet to besiege Lightjar. Alright. I'll do it. No problem. Onwards. We don't think we've done a sieging. Oh! Good grief. What on earth is that? <laughs> right. It's... Actually, it looks a lot worse than it is. It's two cannons. This here, I thought, oh, what, what have they got in there? They've got nothing. It's a ram. It's two cannons. Big deck across the top. And these are just gas bags. Right. Move up to here. Start the fight. Board that one. And then... Move down. Oh, they've got a big gun. Move, move, move. Oh, they've got boarders as well. They're a boarding vessel. Interesting. Are we going to swap ships? I think we might. Uh, while I can then. Oh, okay. This. Ah. Darn it. Ram, ram, ram. I didn't see that. Captured. I didn't see that this one. It's the same design. Oh, no. We've lost a suspendium chamber. It's a similar design in terms of its look. But it's got, a, it's got an Imperial Cannon on it. Okay. So we've lost this guy. But we've captured this other ship. And I know the Arc of Fire on that is, with the best will in the world, utter garbage. So, are there borders? I'm seeing people run around. I don't know if you see that. They're running around. Are we able to board this and take it out? Why is this not under command anymore? Why is this not under command? Have we lost our bridge? It's because I've told them to board, isn't it? Um. Hmm. I mean, we can sit here forever in a day. Oh, hang on. He, because he blew that one at the front up. Defeat. No, we're capturing that. Hmm. All right. We've lost. We've lost our Sparrowhawk, and that is a defeat. How strange. I think it was a combination of the boarding and the way we moved it around and things like that. Build ship. We'll get another Sparrowhawk in play. Foreign plot, eh? Looks like these guys have moved over to defend here. So good luck to them. And this is, to be fair, the first time we've seen them uh, do something like that. Didn't work out. <laughs> yeah, that's the first time I think I've seen Uncton. Actually, was it, even, was it Uncton? Yeah, send some stuff. <laughs> it just didn't work. Uh, ah, well. It is what it is. So... The interception didn't work. Anything that says seed, it's just like, no, no thank you. I think I'll keep what I've taken. Alright, so this guy's taken over here. And we are going over to Light Jar to do a bit of besieging. Which is what we're doing now. So we've got our supply ships there. Our bomber's going to there. I'm fairly confident that bomber can deal with what's over here. I can't obviously send anything over. But I'm fairly confident. 
Let's build a spy network. Ah, uh, reduced it. Didn't work out. And I will also we've got a spy over here. Build a spy network. Spy was succeeding successful in making new friends. And a diplomatic diplomatic delegation from Sovereign bearing exotic plants and moon rocks. Yes, we'll accept that. Okay, I think we're going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of Airships Conquer the Skies. Rep reputation has gone down by a little bit. We are still 64 liked, which is good. However, we are now attacking this guy because, well, we can. Similar strength. Most of our stuff is at Light Jar doing a uh, besieging. They've lost some territory here. What I need to do is basically gather up our herring goal and get it over there. I don't think it would be too much of a problem. Uh, in fact, you know what? You should go there. And you should go there realistically. And then we'll sort of all tool up. Small shipyard, garrison, field station. Mm, don't need to do any of that really. There's a little bit of unrest. But it's only 26. Okay. We're going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of airships conquer the skies. We are in a decent state, I think. We probably should build a market there as well. Try to just increase the amount of money that we're getting and build a market there as well. Cool. 199 on our cash flow, so positive generic units of currency. We are in... There's our Empire of Generican. So it's there's lots of stuff in here because what we've taken. So all the flags have sort of... Convalesce, that's pretty good. There's some big bonuses there, wow, because a lot of the stuff we've taken over. And yeah, our main target is Rodino. And the other guys, really, they're just sort of doing their own thing. They don't want to come into any sort of alliance. But they're sort of happy just chilling out and, you know, we've got a an aggression pact, so everything's sort of all right. And there's our alliance, the big alliance, which will only become bigger as we keep attacking this guy. Either way, hope you have enjoyed this episode and the series thus far. As always, comments in the comments, and we'll go from there. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.